you're probably aware that um, at St. James and Emmanuel, we're, we, we believe that uh, caring for creation or climate justice is part of our calling as Christians. And we've been asking each of our mission partners if they've seen in their own context the impact of climate change. My country has seen uh, immense impact of climate change. When I was growing up, we had like well-timed seasons. Like we knew, like for example, from um, January to March, it could be wet season. And then from April to, to June or July, it could be dry season. Uh, and, and so on. But at the moment, we don't even know what is coming next. So it, it's, 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 it's like have changed um, over the years and, and, and not in a good way. We have seen droughts happening, like killing people. We have seen uh, lakes overflowing and killing people uh, and people being uh, misplaced and, and, and things like that, like, like so much, so much, like literally every year when rain comes and they plant seed. First of all, it isn't the right time. But secondly, then too much rain comes and then everything is done. Like they have nothing to, 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 to harvest. Um, and that is so common, like it is becoming so common, literally the order of the day. And yeah, it is really leaving people in shambles and tatters in, in a very, very bad state that I can't even explain for anybody to understand. Um, but, but when you watch news sometimes, you know, like, I can't believe I'm actually living in this country. And the bad thing about with a third world country like Uganda is that the government doesn't even extend a hand of help to, to those who are affected. There's definitely some areas that are known to be harder places to live than others. Mm. And more frequently now, people tell us it's been a really hard year. Like mm. I've, I've been with Dignity for 10 years now. And, and I definitely hear that more now, that the rains have been worse or we've not had rain and mm. there's no harvest this year. So mm. I have no doubt in myself that that is linked to the wider picture of what we see in, in the world. I think on the whole, it feels as if it's a fairly low level priority mm. for some of the people in the community that we walk alongside. Yeah. I, I think partly because the effects of the cost of living crisis mean that people are not in a position to make good decisions for, for the climate in yeah. terms of plastic or what they use. As leaders, we often think about it in terms of the way that we use our resources. So for example, in the holiday clubs that I'm running across the city of Salford, we'll be delivering um, about 1,100 meals a day in vans across the city. Wow. Um, but last year, that was at about 15 to 1,600 meals a day. So we've managed to reduce the amount of time vans are going around by basing more projects in schools. So I think in terms of our leadership and sort of strategic yeah. direction, it's on our agenda. Yeah. Um, but some of the families that we're working with, it, it's not because it's just... They're so in survival mode. It, exactly. Mode. I think there were some statistics out this week to say that something around the top 10% of lowest earners um, would need to spend around 56% of their income each week to get food that met the government's nutrition standards. Wow. So if you're trying to feed your children not everything that just go straight in the oven like a pizza or whatever then that's the amount of money that you're spending on food yeah. so actually you haven't got that extra to buy eco-friendly washing powder for example yeah, yeah. so where we can look at doing things if we are more comfortable that enable those things to become cheaper for everybody yeah. then that's what we should do I think. Well, the rainy season used to start month of May in the beginning of May this year they waited till July, still they didn't get uh, um, the sufficient rain. Wow. So therefore all the farmers and um, with the seed they are waiting and it is affecting them because of it is a very hot weather where the rivers has to be, dam has to be filled with the rainy water and that. Does this mean then that the farmers wait for the rain in order to sow their seeds? Yeah, absolutely, yes. So they wait for the soil to be wet mm -hmm. and then they, then they plant their crops? Yes, they have to cultivate the land also. Okay, but if there's no rain, mm -hmm. they wait? 
Then if don't, yes, they will wait. But then that means that there's a, a big delay before the, the crop is yes. harvested. Yeah, yeah. And also if it is um, one month, two months is late, then also the crops may not be... It has to be on time, they yeah. have to plant the seeds. Otherwise the harvest is ruined? Ruined, yes. Oh, that, so there's, there's a, is there a danger of famine? Danger of famine and also the danger of the loan which they have taken from the rich people. Yeah. So the interest will go high and they will be like you know, caught up with their loan. And so they can't repay the loan? Loan, yes. So that's really quite a worrying development. Worrying, yes. I think the extreme weather that we've been seeing over the last few years in terms of the snow and the ice, mm. the extreme heat. Mm. Um, just the other day we were having a, um, our deanery um, children and families meeting which was hosted at William Temple mm. and afterwards there was a flash flood and the rain was absolutely pouring down. I thought Noah was going to come but it means that things like the building is not suitable yeah. and can't cope with the weather. Yeah. So it means that we've got leaks, we've got damp, but then in the warm weather, there's such a, a humidity to it in the yeah. building because this damp is trapped, it can't escape anywhere. Yeah. But it also means that my parishioners, for example, they are very much reliant on good weather. Yeah. At the, the, tide, the moment there's a, a bit of, um, ice on the ground a lot of them are in mobility chairs mm. and um, scooters and um, they can't they just can't leave the house unfortunately mm. um, and it's and it's very much I would say in terms of climate change I would say it's the extremes of the weather yeah are very much starting to affect people we're starting to see that effect happening mm. and also there's a lot of chronic health conditions mm. um, that affect people in Withenshaw um, it's, it's knowing that if there's a slight bit of rain and a little bit of a chill, it's it's people have to risk, oh, am I going to get pneumonia coming to church? Mm. On, on Not only on my travel to church, but then have to sit in a freezing cold building while yeah. soaking wet, then travel home again. Or do I miss out on that, which might be my only contact with people during the week, yeah. and stay at home? One of the things that I have noticed is, is this, it's it's the people that are the poorest yeah. that are suffering the most. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, which just breaks my heart.